It's night time, and we got Kendrick Lamar. Let's talk about it. How y'all doing? Welcome to Let's Talk About It, Music Review Season 10, Part 2. That's right, we're doing a Part 2 this season. Guys, whole lot of new episodes. We're going until December. We're in off with a bang. Two episodes a day. Two episodes a day. I really mean it, all right? Starting Tuesday going forward, all right? Two episodes a day, and we're still covering Kendrick Lamar because he dropped a new album. And, guys, I ain't going to lie. I've been having a blast checking out this album. So many different production notes, so many um stuff that I just really enjoy about this album really pop out, you know, really go crazy. So I'm really enjoying this album. I've listened to the whole thing a couple of times now. I've listened to certain singles over and over again. I have been listening to this album. As you know, this is my job, so, you know, kind of that's what I have to do. But I'm a, I'm really excited to talk about this song. We just have a standalone track, no features. We got Kendrick Lamar's Squabble Up. Now, this one actually has a music video to it, and the music video is pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy. Pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Pretty cool, ain't gonna lie, fire music video, I mean, but I'm not here to rate a music video, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, and uh, also, I did not write a review for this, so we're just gonna be doing off points, you know how we do it, but before we get started, guys, if you're on YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, wherever you get your podcast at, make sure you follow, turn on notifications, remember, two day, two episodes a day, and we're starting off with this one, the next one should be up by the time you're, you know, by the time you're done listening to this, the next one will be up, so you can go check that out, too. And let's get this started, guys. Let's talk about this song. I got a couple of points I want to get off my chest. Starting off with the number one, let's talk about that beat. Now, look, when I was listening to the song, one of the first things that I really picked up about this beat is that I really love that kind of bass in the back. This kind of, like, like kind of distorted, kind of electronic, kind of, like, wobble-like type bass going on this beat absolutely hits it has like a groove kind of to the track it's kind of like a trap beat but with like a groove kind of like club kind of twist to it it's got these like hodgepodge of different kind of genres feel to it which i'm always going to give praise for i'm always going to give points for i think it's one of the most important things when you're listening to a song these days is that it, it's, it needs to have a little something to it the production has almost everything into it <laughs> i mean the production goes crazy, it goes pretty hard. I like this beat. My only thing, my only gripe about this beat, which I gotta be honest with y'all, I wish there was more emphasis on the drums. I feel like the drums are really lacking. It's kind of that bass kind of just taking over the whole track, but that's just kind of a minor complaint. Just a little bit of a criticism. I wish that there was just a little bit. But yeah, I mean, just a minor criticism about the beat, but that's kind of it. I mean, overall, the production goes absolutely insane. It's good. I like it. Every time I hear this beat, it's addicting. It's going to get stuck in your head. I mean, guys, Lord mighty, it's like your grandma putting out a chicken pot pie, you know, freshly baked, homemade, and that shit fucking slaps, all right? So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> now, my next point, let's talk about the verses. Now, the first verse is really good. I really like the flow. The flow is, like, addicting. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, when you hear this flow, it's going to get stuck in your head. I mean, it, it's a repetitive flow, and I think it's a repetitive flow that works. Kind of reminds me of the, you know, we're not like us kind of flow. You know, it, it, you know, it, it, it it's kind of reminds me of that kind of flow going forward. But I think it's a little bit more fleshed out. I think there's a little bit more fleshed out in the vocals on this one. And I overall think the flow on this one, you know, pretty much hits <laughs> i mean lord mighty I, I think it hits i think it goes crazy in my humble gosh darn egg opinion so i mean honestly <laughs> honestly guys I, I think the first verse is really good good flow and then that leads off to the wobble to the squabble up hook <laughs> the squabble up hook absolutely hits <laughs> i mean this this hook is addicting. You got those background vocals in the back. You have that beat really just being punchy, really just having like a club kind of vibe, kind of going crazy. I mean, overall, it is absolutely goddamn slapping. <laughs> I mean, 110 gosh darn dang percent, in my humble opinion. Now, I like the, I like the first verse, and I also, you know, we're talking about my next point with the hook. 
like I said, you know, the hook is really good too. Hook sounds good. Hook's got a good flow to it. And yeah, I mean, overall, that's really hitting. And then we get into that second verse. Guys, you, you probably wonder, you know, does this song get any better? Does this song do more than just a club banger? And I would say yes. The second verse has a lot to it. We have a lot more flow switches. We also have a lot more vocal tone switch ups too, which I'm always going to appreciate, which I'm always going to you know, get praise for. Because when you have these switch ups, it makes the song pretty addicting. It makes you just want to go back and just keep streaming and streaming and streaming because there's something to look forward to. There's a switch up. There's a switch up to that instrumental that just clicks with you and it just absolutely hits. And it has one of those things, which is obviously really good. <clears throat> you know, when you have that, that just means your song is successful. I mean, that's how you know. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think that this shit absolutely goddamn hit. What the hell was that? It's a fucking note. God damn it. I can't even believe this, guys. How is my ex-wife still affecting my life? I mean, god damn. I'm going to lose it. All right, I already got kicked out of my favorite casino, my favorite gambling spot, and now they're threatening to take away my shelter? <sighs> God damn. Well, good thing I'm not even living there anyways. Now my next point, guys. Let's go over. Let's go over this beat. And let's go over everything here again. I just gotta, We just got to quickly run through, and then I'll give a score. And then we're going to get to the next Kendrick review, which is going to be already up. But overall, guys, the beat, the beat absolutely hits. It goes hard. It goes crazy. Goddamn. Masterful. Holy shit. Good production. Good. The verses. The, the verses are pretty good. Good flows. Good flow switch ups. The hook. Hook is pretty addicting with those background vocals. And the second verse is pretty good, too. So overall, guys... I'm pretty feeling generous with this song. I think it's a pretty good song. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, what y'all think about it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Go check out the next episode. It should be already up. And, yeah, I'll see y'all later. You have a good one. Bye.